Our CH battery is fully sustainable, fully recyclable. We just use steel to produce the CH battery. This may sound impossible, but the gas most responsible for heating our planet could become the key to cooling it down. Carbon dioxide, the villain of climate change, might soon power a new kind of battery. If you've ever wondered why renewable energy still feels unreliable, or why solar and wind vanish when the sky turns dark, you're not alone. What if the very thing harming us could keep our lights on? Today, we'll uncover a breakthrough already tested in Italy, where CO2 is trapped inside a giant dome. Stay with me. The full story may surprise you. The Burden of CO2 Carbon dioxide is invisible, yet its presence shapes everything around us. It has always been a part of Earth's delicate balance. In small doses, it is essential. It traps warmth, allowing oceans to stay liquid and life to flourish. Without it, our planet would be an icy rock adrift in space. But balance is fragile, and balance has been broken. Since the dawn of the Industrial Age, humanity has filled the air with more carbon dioxide than nature can absorb. Chimneys, engines, and endless fires release it without pause. Each year, billions of tons rise upward, gathering in the atmosphere. The gas forms an unseen blanket, wrapping around the planet, holding in heat that once escaped freely into space. This blanket grows thicker with time. The result is clear in shifting weather, in seas that creep higher, in storms that strike with new fury. Droughts spread, forests weaken, glaciers vanish. The fingerprint of CO2 is written across every corner of the world. Nearly three quarters of the greenhouse gases we add to the sky are carbon dioxide. Other gases matter too, but CO2 is the dominant one. It stays longer, accumulates more, and locks us tighter into a warmer future. Each breath we take is within air subtly changed by our own actions. The irony is sharp. A gas so small in volume, so light we cannot see it, has become heavy with consequence. It weighs on politics, on economies, on families displaced by flood or fire. It has become the face of a crisis larger than any single nation or generation. And yet, within this same gas lies possibility. For decades, it has been cast as a villain. But perhaps, hidden within its chemistry and pressure, there is a way forward. A way to turn burden into resource, threat into tool. The story of CO2 may not be finished. The storage problem. Wind and sun give us hope. They offer clean power that never runs out. But they arrive on their own schedule, not ours. The wind can fall silent for hours. Clouds can hide the sun for days. When that happens, the flow of energy stops. This is the weakness hidden inside renewable dreams. Without a way to save what is produced, the power disappears the moment nature changes. Lithium batteries try to bridge the gap, but they are costly, short-lived, and tied to metals that scar the earth. Pumped hydro can store energy, but it needs mountains, rivers, and space that most regions cannot offer. What the world lacks is something simple, a system that can hold energy when there is plenty and release it when there is none. Without that missing piece, the future of clean energy will always feel fragile, always uncertain. How the CO2 battery works. The idea sounds complex, yet its rhythm is simple. Think of it as breathing, but with machines instead of lungs. When extra electricity flows from wind or solar, the system begins to inhale. Carbon dioxide is drawn from the dome, then squeezed hard by compressors. Under that pressure, the gas changes, shrinking into a dense liquid. This liquid waits quietly in sturdy tanks, holding the captured energy inside its form. But compression creates heat, 
and in this design, even the heat is not wasted. The system gathers it, storing the warmth for later. Nothing is left unused. When power is needed again, the process reverses. The saved heat is returned to the liquid, which swells back into a gas. This gas rushes through a turbine, spinning it fast enough to create electricity that returns to the grid. At the end, the gas flows gently back into the dome, ready for another cycle. No fuel is burned, no smoke released. Only carbon dioxide moves through its endless loop. A quiet worker in the service of energy, it is a battery without metals, relying only on pressure, temperature, and time. Safety and Symbolism The thought of storing huge amounts of carbon dioxide may sound unsettling. What if it leaks? What if the dome tears? But the system is sealed, designed to keep the gas in place for decades. CO2 is not a fuel that gets consumed. It is only the working fluid, cycling again and again. Once filled, the dome needs no constant refilling. This makes the image strangely poetic. The same gas that drifts through our skies unchecked is captured, tamed, and turned into a servant of clean power. It no longer escapes into the atmosphere. It no longer adds to the weight we carry. There is irony in this transformation. A villain becomes a tool. A threat becomes a solution. In its silent loop, CO2 is stripped of its danger and given a new role, to hold the energy of the wind and sun until we are ready to use it. Comparisons with air storage. Carbon dioxide is not the only gas that can be used for storage. For years, engineers have experimented with air itself. By squeezing it into underground chambers or cooling it until it turns to liquid, energy can be saved for later release. These methods are known as compressed air and liquid air storage. Yet both approaches carry limits. Compressed air needs vast caverns carved into salt or stone, places that only exist in certain parts of the world. Liquid air holds more energy in smaller spaces, but reaching the extreme cold required to keep it stable consumes much of the benefit. Here, carbon dioxide finds its advantage. At room temperature, it can be compressed into a liquid without plunging into an impossible cold. It stores more energy than air at ordinary pressure and does so in a system simple enough to be built almost anywhere. A gas once feared now outperforms the very air we breathe. Cost and efficiency. No matter how elegant a system appears, it must prove itself in numbers. Energy Dome claims its battery can store electricity for about $50 per megawatt hour. If true, that would be less than half the cost of most lithium batteries and far below what liquid air or compressed air can usually achieve. Efficiency is another piece of the puzzle. Lithium can return up to 90% of what goes in, but it fades with every cycle, its strength slowly drained. The dome aims for 75 to 80 percent. Not as high, but steady over decades. Pumped hydro, the giant dams that move water uphill, reach similar numbers but need rare geography. By contrast, the dome can be placed on flat land, near solar farms or wind farms. What matters most is balance, long duration, lower cost, and predictable output. In that mix, Carbon dioxide offers a new choice, one that may shift how we think about energy storage altogether. Resource advantage. Most batteries today are tied to fragile supply chains. Mining for lithium drains water from deserts. Digging for cobalt in Central Africa often carries stories of child labor and danger. Nickel, another key ingredient, comes with its own heavy toll on land and air. Each new mine cuts deeper feeding the hunger for storage, but leaving scars behind. The dome avoids this path. It asks only for steel, water, and carbon dioxide. Nothing rare, nothing hidden in unstable markets. The compressors and turbines it uses are already made in factories that serve oil, gas, and power plants around the world. 
This means the design can grow without waiting for discoveries or costly mining. It is a technology built from what humanity already knows how to build, only rearranged for a different purpose. In that simplicity lies its strength. Challenges of scale. Yet no system is without limits. The dome may be efficient and cheap, but it takes up space. A single installation can cover fields the size of several football pitches. For crowded cities or regions where land is scarce, that footprint can be a heavy cost. Critics also question the promised efficiency. Can the system truly return 80% of what it swallows? Doubt lingers until the first large plants prove themselves. Lithium still wins when compactness matters, when energy must fit into tight rooms or fast-moving vehicles. The dome cannot replace that. Its gift lies in holding energy over long hours, standing steady while the wind and sun falter. But its journey will depend on how well it grows without becoming too large to live beside us. The bigger picture. The truth is, no single answer will carry us into a clean future. Lithium batteries will remain essential for short bursts of storage, for cars, for homes, and for quick balancing of the grid. Pumped hydro will keep serving regions with the right landscapes. The dome belongs in another role. It fills the long nights, the cloudy weeks, the quiet hours when renewables fade. Instead of one solution, the future will be a woven fabric of many. Each piece has strengths, and each covers the other's weaknesses. Seen this way, carbon dioxide storage is not a rival, but a partner. It joins a larger effort, one where survival depends not on perfection, but on cooperation. Carbon dioxide has long been the mark of our mistakes, rising with every factory, every engine, every fire. Now it stands at the center of a strange hope, a battery built from the very thing that once doomed us. Will this dome of gas prove strong enough to hold the future, or will it remain only a symbol of what might have been? The answer is not certain, but perhaps the most dangerous substance of our time is quietly offering a chance at redemption. The choice is ours to see it through.